on the California Delta. Um, kind of a crazy windy day out here. Um, fishing the same areas that I have been the last couple weeks. A lot of spawning flats, uh, kind of off the main river channels and ditches that are uh, that are you know leading up to a big flat or else out on these points where it's kind of deep on both sides and then shallow up on top. Uh, sparse toolies, things like that. Uh, you know, the last few weeks, I'm sure you've heard, there's been a really good Senko bite. Um, today with this wind, it's blowing probably 12 to 15 right now, gust 20, a little more. Um, that Senko bite's really tough uh, in the areas that I've been fishing at least because of the wind. Uh, it's really hard to fish that thing even if you put a little nail weight in it. Um, so, what I've been doing is throwing a lot more reaction baits. Uh, the guy I've been getting them on today. It's been a little slow, uh, you know, there's a few little shakers in there, but uh, the average fish has been quality, just not as many bites today as I've been getting. But um, So I've been throwing a little swim jig, chatterbait type guy. Uh, this is Strike King, Pure Poison. You can probably hear the wind right now, because um, these are the areas that I'm, I'm really fishing in uh, with the wind blowing right up on a spawning flat or on a point. Um, it's kind of a chartreuse and white strike king pure poison on the back of it. Kind of the key that, um, you know, it's been working for me is usually I'll throw some sort of paddle tail on the back, uh, either like a swim senko, something like that. But right now the key is getting this chatterbait to go a little slower through those, uh, those areas where the sparse toolies are. So I put a little four inch uh, swim bait on here made by Big Hammer. Um, they're great swim baits, um, awesome on Alabama rigs, but even better on a swim jig or a chatter bait. They get a lot of thump with this big square tail you can see on there, um, and it really you can slow that retrieve down. And I'm kind of just casting it out, slow retrieve back, and uh, you know pick the rod up, fill it down to the bottom, jerk it back up, get it going again, and thumping. And uh, most of the fish come right off the edge of the toolies, um, right on that drop when you kind of pause it or hesitate for a second. So. Uh, it's been a pretty good bite so far. We've got kind of a slack tide right now, so it's slowed down a little bit, but the end of the incoming, um, and here in maybe an hour or so, when it starts to get going out again, it'll probably get pretty good. Um, let me grab the fish here and show you kind of typical size, typical size fish we've been getting. I mean, it's like a three and a half, maybe four. Um, it's actually been caught before. You can see the mouth kind of messed up there. Uh, but this guy hit it right off a of, off Thule point and just inhaled it. I watched him actually eat it when he came out and grabbed it at about five feet of line out. Um, but typical size, we've got about three or four this size today. That's been about it. Nothing bigger like the other day where we had those seven, eight pounders. Um, let me let this guy go. I'll show you what I'm throwing this on. So here's kind of the deal, Strike King Pure Poison, 4 inch big hammers, a trailer. I'm um, throwing this actually on a Shimano Kamara, uh, 72 mh, medium heavy rod, um, 50 pound braid, uh, the new Cronar 50E reel, and just kind of on a slow retrieve, not too fast, and then giving it those pops. So get out here in the delta and the wind is even good, um, especially with the reaction bite, it gets a little better in the wind. Uh, water's got a little more color to it today, which is helping too. Um, but get out here, they're still fill up on the spawning flats. There's still some pre spawn fish. Definitely spawners, can't see them today, but uh, they're around out here. So come on out and catch some fish on the Delta. Danny Prodell, take it easy. Hey, hey, hey.